Hello, hello, collective! Welcome to Angie Vlog! I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you good vibes. I have a specific message for you. Ooh, sending you good vibes, healing, positive, everything. Happy December! We're in a new month, guys. I'm so excited. Ah, I don't know, it just feels beautiful. Um, I do have a collected message, message from spirit, but also specific angels that also have a message for you. Yesterday I had a interesting, you know, just having that connection with um, the Holy Spirit, with God, with Jesus. He's been healing me some situations. I know some of you are dealing with similar things, but just giving you some tip of advice that you're not alone okay especially if you're having issues like one of your ego death that you're going through or you know we we do experience uh, multiple ego death okay so just to let you know where i'm at uh one of my ego death right now and also ascension process that i'm also kind of dealing and healing um also that in the process of uh, also talking to a therapist too but my best therapist that i can tell you is god okay and he's been helping me with this right now because i'm having issues with rest yes i know that i say this all the time you know i'm as a light worker i gotta tell you shadow sides right we can't we gotta keep it real here okay and also that too, it's like, it feels liberating to be vulnerable with my community, with my people. So I just want to also thank you guys so, so much for your beautiful energy you send your way, your prayers, like Holy Spirit, uh, show me from time to time, like he lets me hear some people who pray for me. I love you so much. Thank you. And also those who put messages on your, uh, on your communities and you're specifically putting specific words so that I could read it so I know that you're speaking to me is so nice I and honestly I cry sometimes because it's like wow how do you know that that's exactly how I'm feeling and just the fact that you're using your beautiful gifts to um, give someone words of encouragement is so nice so whoever is doing that you don't know how much you're helping someone right now okay dealing with certain situations things that they don't understand okay so continue doing that is so lovely and you know who you are because your your thing is not usually like you can't share your your content uh but you keep it only for people to see which is you know who you are um also that too is like i i pray for you uh i know that you're probably I don't know if they're a single mom or a single parent, but it's like all single parents is like such a beautiful connection that we have in our own um, spiritual journey. And we're like, respect each other. We, we don't judge each other. We encourage each other. So it's such a beautiful energy. So thank you so much, especially the tower community who are single parents. Uh, also Oracle, but also that's, that he showed me also that there's people who are not parents who wish to be parents who look at our journey and like they send us good vibes they send us protection and stuff like that so thank you like it's really beautiful it's like a beautiful energy whenever you guys do that and that was like my girls feel it too so i just want to just i just love you guys thank you so much i really appreciate it okay um it really overrides the you know the hate and all that stuff and also that too is like right now i'm learning also that he's teaching me to pray for me he's like you gotta pray for you too <laughs> which is something that i'm always praying for other people the world like you know the change of system like i pray for all these things you know i pray for others and then recently he just took me back it's like okay um um you also gotta pray for you okay <laughs> I was like, oh, and that's especially because I am having a difficult time with rest, right? I, I'm a multifaceted, like as a conscious creator, I love to have used uh, creativity as a way of dealing with um, my shadow side, working on uh, my healing, right? So I've used outlets in terms of creativity to try to maybe it could be an avoidance it could be you know it could be that i'm trying to avoid something or trying to avoid my feelings or something like that especially when someone hurts me or intentionally does stuff to hurt me i tend to just like create i used to create like no i just want to create i just want to paint i want to like not think about it and i know that 
when I'm in the creation part, I go, I, I have taught myself to feel my feelings through the creativity. The only thing is, is that I don't know when to stop. I have never known. And that's also, I know it could be a PTSD also situation where my, my therapist says it's, it's could be a generational trauma that I'm releasing right now. So a lot of you, happy Saturn return, Jupiter, all of that, but also we have Neptune and Pisces and there's a lot going on right now. So it's just nice. And then that's who we're having a full moon in Gemini. Awesome. In December 7. <laughs> it's just, um, I don't know. I wanted to be born away with you guys. So I don't want you to think that we're all perfect here and all of that. I do have some channel messages that I want to give you, but I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone. Okay. We're all dealing with different aspects of our shadow side. Some of you are dealing with serious, um, you know, self-sabotage situation, uh, abandonment issues, uh, going deep right into your shadow inner work and stuff like that. Some of your childhood wounds, you know, but I know that one of my childhood wounds that I have to heal and not only for myself, but also my mother and my family, it was that fact that because we stay in situations where we thought we couldn't change or we couldn't um, move away from that, like we stay stuck in situations and also that too is like we never we felt like resting was like a like it shouldn't happen you know and then we have you know people or situation family friends or whatever who make us feel like you know you can't you always have to be doing something like you can't rest you, you can you know and that too is like the guilt and shame for that you know it's heavy guys so that's something that i'm like shedding right now as a wounded warrior, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's uh, something that I know that I wouldn't be able to do. Even with a therapist, like I cannot do it alone. I know I need God. I need Jesus who's helping me also forgive me, forgiving that stuff. And also that too is like forgiving situations that my mom also wanted to let go of, but she didn't. And I feel her spirit. Yesterday, I felt her spirit as well. Letting me know like, please don't do this. Please don't do that because I wish I didn't do this. I wish I didn't do that. And she was showing me her, how she wished that as a psychic medium, you guys know, I know I don't want to freak people out, but I, I tend to, when I channel, uh, you know, people who are already passed on, who are in uh, different stages of their ascension as well, okay? Um, she showed me things that now she probably has to, you know, she's probably you know, going to be reincarnated to complete that Saturn cycle that she couldn't do. But now, because I've, I've overcome certain, I broke a cycle, she did too, but there were certain things that she didn't, couldn't finish, right? Because she stayed stuck in a situation which she should never have. But that was also a lesson on itself because I had to learn that lesson from her. So in a way, it's everything was actually done in divine timing and it was actually a lesson in every possible way. So when we say that lessons, spiritual lessons that we are done here on earth, nothing is a mistake. Mistakes are lessons, okay? And when things happen, it's because it was supposed to happen because there's a good or bad situation that needs to be learned there, okay? So that's something that I'm healing, you know, that I'm... That's, just, that's part of my shadow work that I'm working on. And maybe if you're, if you're feeling like that, you know, you're not alone, okay? Um, it's a process, absolutely, because shame and guilt are very heavy, right? And if you have, like, you know, if you're being worked, like, you overcame, like, you became, like, a workaholic through, you know, trying to heal or maybe it's an avoidant, avoidance uh, thing that you, you know, built, um, that you find some kind of like balance, common ground and peace and healing through all of that. But I know that's something that I'm kind of like, okay, well, I have to do things smarter. So basically I'm saying is that I learned an important lesson and I'm passing it to you. You will learn it eventually. If you're not there, it's okay. But what I'm saying is that be patient with yourself. Be mindful during this time. Um, be quick to be more, um, Think before you speak, okay? And don't let rage or anger or anything like override your um, your mindset, okay? Anyways, I have a, mess, a couple messages that they want me to tell you, so I think I'm done.
down, okay? And then we're gonna tap to see what each of these archangels want to say. I mean, I did channel it when I was shuffling, so let me show you who are here. So we have number 26, Commander Astar, Ashtar, hopefully I'm saying this right. So we're talking to some star seas here. Hello, what's up? Space travel, people who are, who know how to, um, some of you, you could be really good at um, shape shifting, but doing the right way. Okay, so now you're learning about that. Uh, galactic guides, okay? So those who are connected to the stars, you know, you're kind of like an alien kind of thing. You, you know, you're not from this world and that's okay. So you're welcome here. There's no judgment or none of that here. We are cosmic galactic star sea light workers and beautiful empath okay around this community okay so join us make sure you like your comment share and subscribe i do not do personal readings guys okay so that's another way where not only you can contribute to the channel and help us out to continue so other people can find us but also uh you know i pick up on your energy and i can let you know what's going on with uh with any situation it could be collective reading and stuff like the you know all signs i do astrology as well and um, yeah uh, twin flame soulmates connections lots of different channel messages depending of what divine wants me to uh, deliver to you and holy spirit okay um hmm what else did i want to tell you yeah so join our family come join us it's fun around here we learn a lot of stuff we're here learning also about ego death decolonization um the law of attraction and uh i also i just 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 uh, published yesterday a blog so it will be in the description below of this video there's a new blog on writersip.com okay and uh, also on medium writersip okay also, uh, I recommend, I keep recommending, uh, the, there's going to be a new podcast soon that I'll be guided to talk about soon, but for now it's podcast number 56. So if you, if you, if you have been experiencing, see someone's trying to block my throat chakra, uh, or some of you could be experiencing throat chakra activation right now. Okay. So that's a good thing. Okay. This is what Shamiel is letting you know, by the way, Archangel Shamiel was my first, <laughs> When I first had my first spiritual awakening um, as a mother, because I had encounters with uh, different archangels when I was younger, but Shamuel was the one who got me back into my actual person, myself, instead of like creating a persona or something that I wasn't to please certain people that I should have, you know, I had to cut up. Anyways, it was a lesson, but I should not have never been around those people. Um, but yeah, he was the one who guided me on how to heal myself, how to work with how to understand that I was a crystal healer, that I, and I always had this obsession with crystals since I'm a child, but it became more, I, I didn't know it was not just an obsession, it was a career, it was something that I was meant to be doing, healing, but also that I had to heal my own self before I do this. So I will open this practice soon. It's just, I'm waiting for the guidance and confirmation as to when for now. I just healed through the YouTube channel. Yes. And also go check out my Patreon as well. It will be in the description below. Okay. Uh, soon I'm going to be posting your old signs for you for December to help you guys out during this time. Don't worry. But there's a lot coming up, guys. So make sure you subscribe. Okay. Check out also the Angie Fog community because there's a lot going on that I'm working on right now. So I will be revealing it very soon. Okay. But yes, Archangel Shamal has a message about conditional love, heart healing, self-love. So yeah, there's a section in the blog that I put. Uh, during this month, there is a specific heart chakra. I think it's this December 2nd or the 3rd. So the 2nd and the 3rd, we're having like a huge heart chakra activation. So I feel like there's a lot of you might feel really tired. There's a lot of shift and changing with the number five here, but there's a lot of heart healing, especially those who have their heart chakra closed. I feel like divine wants to help you guys how to open your heart chakra so that you can able to manifest and learn how to heal yourself and also how to listen to your intuition. Okay. A lot of self-love. He taught me that. I mean, alongside, you know, Jesus, but because Jesus teaches us about forgiveness and, um, about you know filling our own cup 
the colonization is also from him. I, I honestly, that's where I learned it from, but also other indigenous communities as well that he has guided me to go and follow and participate, okay? All right, so we have our King Jill, Jophiel. Jophia or Jophiel? Jophiel. Number nine could be significant. This makes me feel Virgo energy. <laughs> Hermit, you know. Uh, also, that too, Archangel Shamuel talks about hair font. Okay, so that too, he it was also, he taught me about uh, self uh, commitment, self um, self discipline. Okay, uh, that too, more spiritual. Uh, be okay with my spiritual journey, whichever way that is. Uh, find a way that works best for me. So a lot of you is like, he will help you find your unique way that works for you, that you can do it in a consistent way, okay? But definitely commitments, like committing to your spiritual discipline, committed to, you know, self-control, committed to not be addictive. That's something that he, I'm grateful that he taught me that. Uh, you know, alongside with God, you know, because archangels are connected to, you know, the most high. Anyways. Archangel Shafiel, so he wants to focus on joy, okay? But joy that comes from inner self. Look how beautiful. I love her dress and her tattoos. Wow, I love it. A lot of healing, okay? Some of you are radiant, like you're glowing up or something like that. Inspiration. Yeah, she's been doing some stuff. She or he, okay? They don't have an actual gender. There could be he or she, Archangels, okay? Uh, but also, I know she's being inspiring to, like today, she was like, Let's take a shower, let's take a bath, let's get ready, let's get pretty. Because <laughs> she wants me to, I'm going to post um, all signs on TikToks, but she wants me to like dress up like as if I'm dating myself, like going on a date or something. <laughs> it's really cute. So, yeah, so that's you guys. You're never alone, okay? So once you're connected with your angels, your spirit guides, and stuff like that, like they will help you with a lot of things, okay? How to manifest, how to heal. Um, how to go through your shadow side, you know, we are all, without the shadow, there is no light, right? But it doesn't mean that we have to stay in the shadow. That's the point of that, okay? And if you need to cry and stuff like that, you need to go through that, okay? Archangel Matrotron has a message. 16 could be significant, okay? So Metatron is all about spiritual power. So he's protecting a lot of you, your crown chakra, I'm hearing. Thank you, Archangel Matrotron. Um, he's working on some people right now because there's a lot of spiritual attacks right now. A lot of you, it will be beneficial for you to wear some purple. Um, they're saying yellow, pink, or blue. I don't know, something about the colors. They're saying that it could be, it has its own, uh, the color has its own frequency. Esoteric wisdom, those who are in tarot reading and oracle reading who are doing the right thing. Metatron has a message, but the one thing he's saying is that Make sure that if you're not in union and your divine counterpart and you're single, he's saying celibacy, it helps a lot. Okay? I'm just saying, you want them to help you, help them. Celibacy, no alcohol. And if you're doing alcohol, wine maybe once a week or something like that. Like he's saying, like if you're doing esoteric wisdom, he's trying to protect you or he's trying to warn you about something. Uh, lust, you gotta uh, work on your lust, no porn, none of that, uh, masturbation, try, uh, honestly, use that sexual energy with your channel messages, channel it, just channel, okay? Uh, this is specific for intent, for those who are in tarot community and, um, oracle reading, psychic reading, psychic mediums and stuff like that, because there is an attack right now on those who are single, uh yeah because you are healing something from a past lives but also like he's saying that there's a lost spirit that it sent out also counterfeits uh don't be too quick to go into bed with someone that you just met like he's saying no try honestly trying is not really i would say just do it okay it's for your own protection uh get to know that person uh be friends first uh there's a lot of people who are not who they think they are there's a veil that has been removed so of you he's saying that there's people who um they have put curses and hexes on you in terms of your sexual energy and also love union so if you 
fall into the trap of the devil, like sex, porn, uh, alcohol, weed, all the drugs, high, intense drugs, and you start doing tarot or something like that. The point is, is if he's saying that there's people who do this, and what I just mentioned, they're doing that too, which is why their messages is distorted and they're creating distortion in the collective. These are people who could be having a large following, and this is why he's saying you have to be careful all those people. I feel like intuitively when you reduce the addiction, reduce the low vibrational energy, your clarity, truth, clarity, and justice, not only for yourself, but for those you know, you're watching or whatever you're consuming, it's going to come clear like this. So he's trying to show you that he will give you tips in your intuition. He will tell you, but it will be easier if you're not doing those things. So work with him. Okay. Have some time to like retreat and work with them so they can let you know, you know, also God, he will confirm this messages. So that's what I always tell you guys, make sure that you're, you know, take what resonates and what doesn't. And if it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. Um, and there's other readings in my playlist, you know, they're timeless. You can check or check them out. Okay. Uh, yeah, go check them out. Okay. But other than that, he's specifically talking for a lot of people who are in the different stages of your spiritual journey, spiritual healing, right? Uh, sacred geometry. So something about meditation with sacred geometry could be significant. That could help you. Um, have clear messages. Also, when you do the work, which is obviously self-control, settle it to see if you're single, if you're not with a person, if you're dating, make sure that you're, you know, keeping things platonic, okay? Especially if you don't know if that person is your person, okay? Also, go talk to God to let you, before you go on a date, honestly, before you do any decisions right now, I will speak to God first. I will fast that. Fast. Do a fasting two to three days. Talk to God. Make sure that it's clear. Should I go on a date with this person? When I, you know what I'm saying? This is this is my person. Is that some of you? He's letting you know that you know who your person is, but you're being impatient right now. You have to be patient. That person is not ready yet, or it's not, you know what I'm saying? But that's specifically for divine feminine. Divine masculine, you need to heal something. I don't know. But we will see what it is. But I feel like it's something about loving yourself more, having more self-respect, more integrity, focusing on your joy. Some of you could be star seed, and there's something about spirituality, something about I don't know, some teaching, something that he wants you guys to focus on. Anyways, wow, this took 22. Wow, universe, thank you. <laughs> okay, hopefully I'm not making this long, but anyways. Okay, so he said, they're saying, keep your higher self. Connect, keep connected with your higher self, okay? He's saying, connect with your higher self, keep connecting, okay? Forgiveness is a process, as just said in the beginning. Healthy boundaries necessary, okay? Some of you need to be wearing your crystals, do your work to continue to protect your peace, okay? So have some, uh, you know, hematite, uh, amethyst, okay? Some sea tree for abundance. I'm here in turquoise. I did add it as, as uh, it's turquoise is the crystal of this month. So turquoise is very good for uh, protection, uh, clear out negative energy or anything coming your way. Also helps with the throat chakra, okay? Also heart chakra. Uh, dragon's blood, jasper, you know what I'm saying? Just have things where you, you know, clear cords, have it in your necklace. I do have, you know, some opal or, you know? Just keep protecting your peace during this time, okay? Literally, we're almost done the year, so I want you to be extra, extra beautiful, um, sacred, protected, and uh, nurture, and that self-love, self-care before we go into the next year. I'm I, Honestly, I'm just, they're letting you know, just, it's just preparing your body and soul because there's a lot going on this month, believe it or not, within your inner self, especially if you've been doing the work, okay? Because that too, that's, that's part of like when you're doing the healing, you have to learn how to maintain that, um, you know, work that you have done, right? Just like, uh, you know, being consistent with your healing, being consistent with anything, with anything you do is just like to maintain it, right? Just like if you get receive uh, some type of abundance or good uh, job or finances or anything like that, you need to learn how to maintain that, right? How to keep it and also keep yourself balanced and keep yourself in a peaceful state, but also 
doing the work for not only for yourself but for others on the planet because that's what we're at right we're trying to get into the frequency of equity right so for an economy um justice um sustainability right so it has to work from within so that you can match that energy i'm basically giving you the gist of continuing that so that we can continue doing this together okay all right <coughs> thank you spirit well, yeah, so I'm hearing shut the fuck up. So yeah, they're doing shut the fuck up spell. So that's what I'm trying to say is that a lot of you, you need to speak up for a lot of things. It's not working. You might feel like a little roughy in your throat, or, you know, coughing randomly or something like that. It's not really affecting you. It's just like, you know, especially if you're praying on a daily basis, it's not, you maybe feel like the, the like a little shit, but it like the deep core of these rituals or whatever they're doing is backfiring as we speak because these people don't get it. They don't have an intuition, obviously. It has been shattered, I'm hearing. Um, they don't have a heart or soul. So these people are doing things now to harness other people who are have a beautiful heart, have a beautiful um, soul, right? So that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep you guys protected and don't be fooled by these people, okay? Right now, the veil is going, is being literally lifted so that you can see clearly. A lot of you, uh, I'm hearing the spell, curse, or hex that has been put on you to make you, to people reject you, uh, for people to see you ugly or something like that, which is ridiculous. Um, but it ha I feel like God has let, left some of that to come through. It's just to test those other people off to see them, how they will treat you, um, not them knowing who you really are right so it's it works both ways but now this veil is going to be removed so a lot of people are going to see that you were actually the right person that they rejected the you know what i'm saying they they mistreated their blessing and stuff like that that's been happening a lot in the collective but now these people are really going to see right you're really going to glow up and god is going to bless you and that i'm hearing the psalm 23 um I'll put that table in front of my enemies. That's really what's happening this month, okay? So get ready. Especially if you haven't done anything to anybody and you're being good to people, you're being kind, um, loving, uh, praying for other people, even for people that you know that have, they feel some type of way towards you, you pray even for them, you pray for their families because you know, you know better. You know that you are literally a walking karma, right? So you know that if these people even try to do that, you know what is it's gonna be ten times worse for them. So even yeah, you feel bad for them, but doesn't mean that you don't create boundaries. You don't stay away from this, right? But I feel like a lot of you, um, you know, you that's why you are chosen, right? God knows your heart, knows your intentions, knows that you do things with integrity, um, and that too is like you have a spiritual wealth already from, you know, it's just it's just who you are and that too remain humble right now okay even if whatever blessing and stuff like that remain humble and even if it doesn't come now just be patient that's another thing it's like he's teaching me also to be patient with my healing because i know that i get frustrated because like why can't i just rest you know i was so frustrated like i fall asleep and then i woke up and i'm like oh my god i have so much to do why did i like you know and it's crazy but each of us have different things that we have to be forgiven. We have to be mindful and we have to accept and be, you know, and let the, the, the divine and the most high teach us how to love ourselves and, and care for ourselves and heal. And then that way, because that's it. It's like, you can't be there for others you, if your cup is not full. And that's what he's trying to do. Like have that, that cup, like literally refill on and, and like, like I'm seeing like the infinity, right? So so that way it's like, you know, you can maintain it, but also you'll be able to give to others, be able to have clear messages. Like, you know, this is stuff that I'm telling you that the, that the enemy does not want you guys to do, but do it anyways, because it not only helps yourself, your family, but it helps your planet and the community, right? Because that's what we're doing. We're trying to do things differently now, but it starts from within ourselves, okay? So pray for spiritual discernment. I can't straight this enough. Pray for spiritual discernment. <laughs> you have to pray for spiritual discernment. You know what? I'm going to put this as a second part, okay? Because I don't want to make this long because it's going to take a while to upload. I will see you in part two. I love you. I'll see you in part two, okay? <laughs>